Hello and welcome to the Who How YouTube channel. This tutorial is on how to conduct exams on exam.net. Step 1. Enter the name of your website exam.net. Step 2. Click on the link. Step 3. You have to register as a teacher first if you want to conduct exams on this website. Register. Select the country that you're from. India, select the region. Delhi. Search for your school. So basically, I'm, I have to input any fictitious school. Okay. Not put that. City. Okay, add school. You have to input your first name and your last name. I'm just going to input the name of my channel and email ID. You don't have to put your personal email ID, but you have to input the email ID that has been given to you by your school. Then you have to enter a password. accept and register so this is the first screen that you're going to see this is your dashboard basically so we have to go and conduct a new exam so select over here new exam create new name you have to select the name of your exam say test one exam questions how do you want your students to see the exam questions as write exam questions in this option you can copy paste from word pad you can copy paste from microsoft word or you can write your own exam question paper i'm just going to cancel this one i'm going to use this option use a pdf file i'm going to input the pdf file from my desktop and so basically, I have just uploaded a sample question paper from my desktop on this. Now student information is basically for what you want your students to enter before writing the exam. Your, their first name, the last name, the email, the class, the t class teachers or teachers name, the student ID. They are basically the roll number or the enrollment number. Then student workspace, what are the tools that you want to provide to your students while they are giving the exam. Their writing area where they are going to write the exam. Okay. If you want me to make a separate tutorial on this one, I will scan handwritten solutions with a mobile phone. Please comment down below if you want me to make a separate tutorial on this one. All the, partic all the particular options over here have to be off. The accessibility tools, synonyms, there are no need for synonyms, audio files, off, subject tools. Now this is subject specific. If you are a maths teacher and you want to provide a calculator to your students, you can do so. Or GeoGebra or Desmos, mathematical formulas or programming even. Now security is very important. Allow any browser is a low security setting. And a higher security setting is this one. So if you're going to select the first option, we have to tell our students to download SEB. That is the web browser on which the exams for exam.net are going to be held. This is a basically installation process. It's an easy process, but it's an installation process. If, if you want me to make a separate tutorial on this one, I will do so. Please comment down below. So we are going to choose allow any browser because it's more convenient and it's more flexible. So settings for lower security mode. The security mode is basically to not allow your students to cheat while they're writing the exam so that they do not exit the full screen mode and open multiple tabs to find answers. So we're going to use this one require an explanation but unlock immediately. And now we're going to create the exam. 
now there are a lot of options on this one this is the exam key the exam key has to be shared with the students either one day prior to the exam or a few minutes before the exam when this exam key will be shared the students will not be able to in uh, uh, see the exam unless and until the teacher has you know click this open and close button are you sure that you want to open the exam for new students open then only the exam will be online and then only the students will be able to see and complete the exam and write the exam so if we go uh, the exam key if we go to the preview section we can see how the exam is going to be visible to your students and the work area and uh, which can be increased or decreased and the question paper will be available to them and different options bold subscript superscript tables so we're just going to submit this exam submit exam the exam has been submitted if you want to see the answer sheet of the students you have to go over here surveillance exam and you can either download it as a pdf answer sheet you can download it as a pdf as a word file or you can print it so if i say that i want to download it as a pdf here it has been downloaded now this is the answer sheet this is a test answer sheet okay so we can do a couple more options we can set a timer for the students say 30 minutes it will be a clock ticking on the student's screen showing that 30 minutes are left 29 minutes are left so if you want like after 30 minutes if you the teacher physically wants to close the exam for new students like after five minutes no new students can come and give the exams then the teacher can just click this option and this will prevent new students from starting the exam but it will not affect the current students are you sure you want to close the exam close the exam now no more students can enter the exam if you want to end the exam after 30 minutes you can click you have to click on this option force submission for students suppose if a person is just keep on writing beyond the time limit so you can force submission for students and proceed with it and the exam will be closed for all the students whether they have completed the exam or not whether they have submitted the exam or not it will be closed for all the students and all the answer sheets be submitted to the teacher now a few more options on this if you want to create multiple exams like for uh, my exams is for like class one if you want to create a group for class two you can create the group over here and now all the exams for class 2 will come in this block a new exam so you can say test 2 you can use a pdf and the same process will be followed so thank you so much for watching this tutorial so if you have liked my video please share subscribe to the youtube channel who how for more fun and educational videos thank you